What is up guys, coming at you with a Mons Wave tutorial. The original one I put out two or three years ago. It's still a good one, but it's a little outdated. Wanted to give a fresh perspective on little tips and tricks that I picked up these past couple of years. So let's get into it. So at its core, the Mons Wave is just a contraction of the chest. It's muscle control, that's why anyone can learn it. When I first started lifting, I had trouble even just popping my pecs. If you're just starting off, you wanna have that connection with your chest. You want to be able to pop it. You want to feel your chest as you flex it. Having that connection with your chest is important. Being able to pop your pecs is part of it. And if you're having trouble connecting with your chest, pushing your hands together and trying to squeeze, that will cause a contraction in your chest. And that is the basics of what we need to get started. So like I said, at its core, all the Mons Wave is, is a slow contraction of the chest. Even when you're doing something like a fly, like a dumbbell fly, you'll see as I'm flexing, You'll see it goes from bottom to top. You're just slowly contracting the chest from the bottom to the top. Rotating your shoulder while slowly flexing your chest is a good way to get started. Another thing that can help is putting your hand on your hip and trying to flex your chest as you rotate your shoulder. So this definitely helps a lot of people get the hang of it. And then eventually you'll be able to do it without the hip and even without rotating your shoulder at all, that's when you're really getting good at it. So if you're just starting off, hand on your hip, rotate the shoulder as you try to flex, slowly try to flex, and just try to get that wave motion going on. Building that connection and just remembering how it feels, just trying to Mun's wave. Rolling your shoulders definitely helps make it easier. And eventually you'll be able to build that connection so that you don't even have to roll your shoulder. Some people are gonna have this connection easier. Some people are gonna have to work for it, but anyone is able to learn the Mun's Wave. I've seen girls do it. I've seen beginner lifters do it. It doesn't matter if you have excess body fat, you can still learn it. Mun's Wave is for the people. Let's go. Another way to increase your connection is trying to flex your chest and then stopping at a certain point. So when I do things to like demonstrate my upper chest, I'm basically doing a Mun's Wave and then pausing and holding it there and then just rotating a little bit while I have it paused there. And so this is another nifty trick you can do. You can even try to practice your control instead of doing a full Mun's Wave each time, you just start at the bottom and then stop. Start at the bottom, go to the middle, stop. Start at the bottom, go all the way to the top, stop there and then once you are at the top there you can try to roll your shoulder again and that is basically how you get to do a reverse mun's wave the reverse is definitely a little trickier it's harder to do it as smooth but with enough practice you should get the hang of it all of this is practice all this is my muscle connection i wasn't able to do this when i first started i didn't even know it was possible so for you guys starting off, just knowing that you're able to do it and having that practice, you'll be a lot better off than I was when I was just figuring all this out on my own. And then eventually you can thread the Mun's Wave into other tricks. I have my shoulder control tutorial. I have my tricep control tutorial. You can thread that into the Mun's Tsunami and just practice all types of muscle control. And so as you can see, I really love muscle control. I love the Mun's Wave. My followers originally told me, I remember I was alive and they're like, you should name it after yourself because you're the only one that does it. And I was the only one that was posting the Mun's Wave at the time. And it's been the Mun's Wave ever since. I also have these snazzy ask me about my Mun's Wave shirts. You can get, I'll post the link below. I don't make too much off of them, only a couple of bucks because I really want you guys to have them. If you are able to do the Mun's Wave, you have this shirt, someone asks you about your Mun's Wave, gives you the perfect excuse to start doing it. So let me know what you guys think, what you want to see more of, if you want a part two where I talk about the more advanced techniques or what other muscle control you would like to see. I also have my muscle control playlist you guys can check out where I have all my other tutorials and make sure to leave a comment. The algorithm loves that. Like, share with your friends, and as always, Let's get these gains.